Hi guys and welcome to another Nexus 7 video. In this video, which is a live video, I'm going to update the operating system for my Nexus 7. Currently it's on Jelly Bean 4.1.1 and it's going to be updated to 4.1.2 and that usually means a few enhancements and bug fixes and so on. Uh, to the best of my knowledge there isn't a, a big significant change apart from one thing uh, which I will show you by the end of the video. Now how you get software updates if you've not modified your Nexus 7 in any way is fairly simple. All you have to do is turn it on and when Google decide that they want you to be able to download the software it will automatically tell you when the Nexus 7 is connected to the internet. So I turned on my Nexus 7 earlier on today and uh, I was prompted with this screen which simply says uh, system update is available ready to install so you don't have to do anything um, you do have three options here install later more info and install now I'm going to choose the install later because I just want to show you a few more things before we actually install it one of the other things you'll see is a notification in the top left hand corner I have three uh, few notifications here but that one the second from the right that is a software update notification and if I scroll down um, it says it there that this software update is available so one more thing to do is if you are a little impatient and uh, sometimes the notification doesn't come up there is another way to check for software updates and that's if you go to your settings and then from settings at the bottom there is the about tablet option and if you press on there and then look at the top of these about tablet options there is one that says system update and if you press on there it will tell you um, first of all if there's a, an update available which obviously there is as you can see here uh, but if it needs to check uh, the button here would say check now and you can press it and it will do a immediate check for the update uh, unless and then if you don't then it'll just automatically check every couple of hours every couple of days and so on so what I'm going to do now is actually install the updates I'm not going to take you through the whole process because it's quite boring really it's just the um, Nexus 7 uh, resetting itself and showing a couple of animation screens as it's doing it so I will do the update now and when the update is finished we'll see what changes have been made so of course uh, just to show you what I do is from this screen I will press install now which you can see there uh, restart and install so if I press that now it looks as though it's going to do its thing it's just telling me that it's going to reboot in about uh, five seconds so now it's powering off and hopefully with any luck fingers crossed because we've always got to cross fingers when we're doing a system update everything will be fine and I'll see you again in a few minutes one thing I will just say uh, before I skip to the next part is that a, a system update should not change any of the settings on your Nexus 7 in terms of the apps installed and the date of it's currently on it that would be a, a, a reset a factory reset that would do that to get rid of everything that's there so as long as everything goes fine all your data should stay intact and you should just see this screen for about five to ten minutes so I'll uh, go away for a second let the Nexus 7 update and I'll get back to you soon hi guys and welcome back I think uh, from experience of previous Android upgrades it's on its final leg of its upgrading process it's really only taken about five minutes to get from the point where I stopped the video before and uh, restarting the video now and it does this little thing here when it's uh, optimizing the apps for the new operating system which really doesn't seem to be, make any difference uh, I suppose it's just checking that all the apps are still compatible uh, but this should not last much longer and once it does we'll be able to get back into the uh, testing of the uh, Nexus 7 to see what changes there are so it's at the very end of optimizing the apps so it should now complete its upgrade and with any second we're back to the original um, splash screen so let's see if anything has changed looks as though it's broken my widgets first things I'm not sure if it's going to fix them or not let's see if I can get them to work There we are, I think it's just um, bumping the widgets back on now. 
may have to give this a few more seconds and minutes for it to catch up. There we are, the widgets have now come back on, or at least the news widgets, looks like the email widgets have come back on, and the uh, Facebook widgets and everything else has come back on, which is excellent. It might be going a little bit slow as well because it seems to have started doing some app updates as well, uh, but nonetheless, um, as far as I'm aware, the big upgrade is that it now automatically rotates the screen. Previously, you had to do this through a third-party application such as Ultimate Rotation Control, but now it will rotate the screen for you automatically like this. So I think that's the one big new enhancement. It's not really a big enhancement, of course, if you already had that application, but I think that's a, an enhancement that a lot of people were a bit frustrated that wasn't uh, packaged with the Nexus 7. So we'll try and just investigate now how to turn that option on and off. And I presume it will be... Um, well, I'm not sure actually. I'll have to just see if I can find this. Of course, I've just realised that there is the uh, main rotation uh, point here. So if I press here, that will lock the rotation, uh, or it should do, which it does. The only problem is it probably locks the rotation for everything else. So I may have to investigate a little bit if you can turn off rotation control just on the uh, home screen. Because I'm not too bothered about it rotating here on the home screen, because I always have my tablet in portrait mode when I'm on home screens. So, as far as I'm aware, that, aware that's the, the biggest enhancement uh, in the Nexus 7. The rest has all been uh, what have been called performance um, enhancements and bug fixes, but I've encountered very few bugs anyway, and the performance has been exceptional for me. So, really this was more of an introduction to how to upgrade your uh, Nexus 7 and what to expect when you do it. So, thanks for watching. I'll probably bundle this into a basics video later on, so it's a lot more compact, but uh, I just thought you might find this uh, video interesting. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon in another Nexus 7 video.